what's good what's up welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you don't know already my name is elena we are back in my bed for another smoke sesh video you guys have been loving these videos i've been loving these videos so i feel like the love is mutual if you're new here get a wood get a joint smoke your bong smoke your fucking whatever the fuck you're smoking on as long as it ain't crack get it so that we can smoke together <laughs> no but on a serious note i also wanted to start off this video not only with a wood myself but also with just starting off saying how grateful and lucky i am to have the audience that i have i have been spending so much time like trying to go through all of my comments because i feel like a lot of my old talking videos are actually coming up again a lot of videos from years ago there's so much new people here and i just literally want to say welcome to all of you guys and also just to my regulars hello um i just want to say how grateful i am to have you guys here i seriously don't think i could ever put into words how special it is to me that you guys you know watch my videos you take the time to listen and you guys also take the time to comment and kind of just, you know, let me get to know you guys a little more. I feel like that's really special to me. I think it's crazy that we're basically strangers, but we're able to like relate in a 10 minute video. Like I feel like there's a lot of things that I have to say, a lot of experiences I'd love to share with you guys. And that's what I'm here for. On that note, before I start rambling, because I will, let's go ahead and spark up together. All right, let's go ahead and hop into this video. A big topic that I want to talk about in this one is moving out, living on your own, finances with all of that. You guys ask me, literally, I swear to God, on all of my videos, on Instagram, anytime I ask you guys to like ask me something, it's always about like moving out. And I've made videos in the past, so you guys can definitely check those out. I always forget that a lot of you guys are either new here or you guys came around not three years ago. So those videos are a little outdated, but they still have important information, um, especially years ago, because I feel like I was still like starting kind of like that independent journey with being by myself, living on my own, paying all my bills, all of that. I've been living on my own since I was 17. I'm 23 now. Um, and I feel like even those videos back then, I feel like I've grown a lot since then. So I feel like there's more to say as well. I've been at my place now for about three years. I love it. I have no problem with it. I live in a little studio in my hometown and it's definitely on the pricier side, but sadly it's like good for where I live. It's expensive, that's for sure, that's for sure. I think I can honestly say when I moved in here, I was a completely different person than I am right now in all of the best ways. This place has given me so much literal room to grow, but has also been such a safe space for me within the last few years of my life. That has always been something important to me but I can't sit here and say that I had that in my other situations. Um, little background story, long story short, I moved out of my grandma's house when I was in high school, 17. I moved out of um, her house because she was selling it, because she was moving and I didn't really want to move to where she was going. So I ended up moving into a little granny unit, which I stayed at for a few months, but I ended up just kind of like not really liking the landlord, which is a huge thing that we will talk about. I moved in to an apartment after that. I lived with a boyfriend at the time. Um, and we already know where this is going. It didn't work out, it didn't work out. But I made the decision once I knew that that was kind of like over with, I made the decision to, you know, finish out the lease that we had. He moved out. I did that on my own for a few months. I was literally working 28 days the last two months of that lease, trying to afford that rent by myself. But I did that because I really, 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 really wanted to move back to my hometown, closer to family, closer to friends, closer to my job. 
and I made that happen. So I did that and now I'm in my place where I'm at right now. And I just seriously, I'm gonna be so sad when I leave this place. I don't think I'll leave this place until I maybe move away because I just feel like I don't have any problem living here. If you don't know what a studio is, it's typically smaller than an apartment. And the studio that I specifically have is one where it's like my room and there's like a little bit of space and then it's my kitchen. Um, and then I have a door to my bathroom, but I do not have a door to my room. This is pretty perfect for somebody who lives on their own. Um, I definitely am gonna want more space in the future, but like I'll be the first to say that like, that's not necessary. It's not like you need that. That's just kind of like something I want. Now that I've given you guys a little bit of background, I just kind of like wanted to share a few things that I can think of that are just some pointers for you guys, for anyone out there who's trying to move out, you know, live on their own, yada, yada, yada. I have a few things that I can like kind of say and just kind of like speak from experience and also just kind of like what not to do too. As I mentioned earlier, definitely making sure that the vibe with like your landlord is good because i feel like it's very important that you get along with them you're basically living on their property so it's definitely important to get along with them um i had a landlord when i was in the granny unit this landlord was just like weird and said that i could have friends over but then changed their mind and was just very controlling would always kind of just like stand there and watch me or watch my like guests just coming over to you know have dinner with me and just kind of be really creepy i've had that i've also had problems with like neighbors i feel like that's why i hate apartments like i feel like apartments are just where the bitchiest people are at they always have something to complain about speaking of neighbors though it's also super important to get along with your neighbors you definitely want to introduce yourself you know kind of tell them about yourself i feel like I took that a lot going into, you know, my new spaces here. I introduced myself and I brought my neighbors like a cinnamon roll and just kind of like said hi. And honestly, my neighbors, like when I first moved in here, were like bitches. One of them was racist. My mom almost beat her ass. We could definitely do a story time on that. But my neighbors now are the sweetest. I love them um, and we get along and I've had no problems with them. So like I said, it's important to get along with your neighbors. At least introduce yourself, you know. I feel like it's harder to like snitch on you when you like know them and you're like friends with them and you're cool with them. You know what I mean? Because like I said, people in apartments will bitch about anything and everything. All right. I told you. Remember this, I told you. On the conversation of getting along with your landlord, getting along with your neighbor, it's also important to not rush roommates. Don't rush roommates just because you wanna move out. Everyone always wants to say they can't do it on their own, but I personally can say you can. It's not easy, it's definitely hard, but it's doable. Do not rush roommates. And that also goes for your man. That also goes for your girl, your girls, whoever it is. Do not rush it, especially in a relationship. I talked about this in a video. Check those out. I made that mistake moving in with a partner too quick. Not even about him. I have nothing to say about him in this video. It's more about the fact that we were young. We didn't know each other well enough. We rushed our relationship. We rushed the process. And in that, we kind of just like fucked it all up. That's it, that's the truth. Like, don't fuck up a good thing before it even starts. Take your time. I don't know if people realize, but like living with somebody is like a whole new ball game. Like you guys are in each other's territory to the fullest. And I feel like what comes with that and what, I mean, what needs to come with that is like respect, good communication, you know, also just like being clean, just like having your living styles kind of be the same. Like I feel like you're, I don't know, just don't rush it, okay? Again, remember this, I told you. Money wise, money obviously is the biggest aspect of it all because without money, <laughs> I 
don't know what to tell you. You ain't gonna get far. You gotta be working. If you don't got a job, step number one, baby. You gotta be working. I've been a server all of my time living on my own. So I feel like over the last six years, wow, I've definitely learned a system within my money to make this lifestyle work for me comfortably. Big key word, comfortably. People always fuck that up too, trying to rush it. Like I said earlier about like having a lot of space. If you don't need it, don't pay for it. And that's what I mean. Like you don't need anything fancy. Don't run that rent up even more than it already is. You're just gonna end up stressing yourself out. You're always gonna be worrying about money. You're always gonna be worrying about just rent when you also need to do other things like, you know, save, enjoy your life. I feel like that's very important because you need to be able to, you know, budget yourself, budget your bills, budget, you know, food, gas, all of those things come to play and all the little things that you don't think add up, add up. And that's why it's important to kind of just like know what money is coming in, what money is going out. Like I said, sit down, write it down, get those monthly bills, set yourself up too. You know, you don't want to always just be living paycheck to paycheck, bill to bill. That shit's no fun. That shit's just stressful. Money is always weird to talk about, but I feel like it's important, especially because, you know, I'm a real person. You watch me on the internet, but I work five days a week gotta make my money pay my bills i don't make money on youtube i get asked that a lot as well i don't get money on youtube i don't monetize any of my videos honestly just because i don't really want those restrictions just yet i really want you guys to kind of get to know me as of now i'm just here for the vibes but i honestly just love doing these videos we talk a lot about moving out on your own and all of that, but it's also a huge mental change. It's emotional sometimes, and it definitely was for me at one point. I've done a lot of work to get where I'm at. I've done a lot of work to be comfortable being alone, and I feel like I can share a lot of that with you guys. Um, on the money aspect, it's always, like I said, just a little uncomfortable talking about it but i've done a video kind of talking more in depth with how i save how i budget my money if you guys want to check that out it's my money talk video i'm pretty sure you can just search it and it will pop up the question always is how do you do it and i feel like anyone can do it i've always told people that even when i was younger and people ask me you know how you're doing it i'm like dude everything that i'm doing you can do too and I want to say that to you guys as well. Any of you guys watching this video, I want you guys to know that you can really do this shit. Like, you really fucking can. You just got to want it that bad. And when I was younger and I was in the situation I was in, I wanted it that bad. I knew from a very young age, just with what my life was like at home, that I was going to move out on my own pretty, pretty young. Um, but I also came from a family that wasn't super well off money wise i didn't see a lot of good you know money budgeting or i wasn't really like educated on that by my parents i feel like um so i definitely had to find my own way moving out on your own will definitely lead you on a very spiritual journey and i feel like it's an important one and we all are going to experience it in life and I know it's scary, there's a lot of fears to it, anxiety to it, just the unknown, but you'll figure it out. I mean, look at me. I figured it out the last few years and I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Well, I think that's all I have to say about moving out. I hope you guys were able to take something from this video. I had another topic I wanted to talk about, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and save it for the next one because I've already been talking for a minute. As always, thank you so much for watching and for fucking with me and everything else. And yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.